Welcome back. This is Vegas Nonstop, presented by Big Dogs Draft House, Rancho and Craig, and Charlie Palmer's Steak in the Four Seasons Hotel. Now, here again is Jonathan Scott. Thank you, John Lindquist. <laughs> and also brought to you by Carrot Top at the Luxor Hotel. <laughs> Were you? Really? I don't know. It seemed like it, didn't <laughs> Why it? Why not? <laughs> Why not? I don't know. Ten years. Yeah. We got five more coming up. Five more. Yeah, just got a five-year extension. Oh, wow! Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Again, if you haven't seen Carrot Top, you gotta go, go see Carrot Top at uh, Luxor. Yeah. Classic stand-up. Uh, yeah, he's great. One of the greatest of all time. He's such a nice guy too. He is a great guy. No, he really is. He's just he's a really super great guy. <laughs> and, and I like that he's just as funny when he's not on stage. Yeah, he's we. we yeah, that's a, who he is. I mean, we, that's we who he is. We have so much fun back there. We really do. We have a blast. All of us, the crew and everybody, we just have a great time. And I love going backstage. One of the funny things, my mom was visiting. And we went to see Louis Anderson, and I think you were there. We saw Louis the first night, and Louis gave my mother a book and signed it uh, to Sandy. Love you, Louis. And so then we go back to to see Scott to see Carrot Top, and my mom says, "Oh yeah, we saw Louis Anderson. and and Scott says, "Oh yeah, Louis's great." And butter, we need more butter. And you know, this is so. <laughs> my mom says, oh, "Yeah," and Louis gave me a book, and Scott said, "I don't have a book. Can I give you my phone?" <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, he's really funny. And, she liked uh, the show too, right? Yeah, I mean, how could, anybody that I've ever taken to go see see Carrot Top, and everybody does. Everyone surprised that you know he's again so much more than just a prop. Yeah, comic. yeah, he really is. It's, it's Florida guy. Is he, yeah, is he Florida. a football? Uh, yeah, a Dolphin fan. Me and him, we're both Dolphin fans. Yeah. Sorry to hear about that. Yeah, me too. How did New York kid become a Dolphin fan? <laughs> I moved to Florida when I was fifteen. From where? From um, from New York. We went. I moved to Fort Lauderdale, from and, the law, probably. and there was not my there was nothing else to root for. I didn't know you grew up in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, I went my, to high school in Fort Lauderdale. My mom and dad lived there. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah so uh, you two can catch up after the show. <laughs> yeah. So I became. But you know what you call a dolphin with a Super Bowl ring? Grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> yes, this is true. And pretty soon we'll be dead. Oh. You know, I interviewed Don Shula one time with his son when they had the restaurant uh, here, and it's since closed, but. You know that it brings up an interesting topic of you know the um, undefeated, undefeated season, season. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and now that we have more games, I mean the Panthers were getting compared, but now that there's more games, you know how would that compare? Mer Mercury Morris was doing his dance again in right. Week 13 when they lost to. But Shula's kid isn't he the defensive coordinator for the Panthers? He Mike Shula is uh, isn't he offense? Uh, he, I know that one of his sons works for the yeah. Panthers. He's either, I think maybe it's the offensive coordinator. He's probably a step he away from getting a top job somewhere. Yeah. He threw that yeah. game on purpose. Yeah, <laughs> he's like pops. Don't you worry. Week 13, <laughs> we got this covered. Uh, we're taking. We're we taking got this by. covered against the Falcons of all teams. What other trades have gone on? I know there's been a little little. Trades in football? Yeah. Nothing, Nothing really. Nothing. No. 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 The, the, the biggest news, uh, I hate to say it, uh, is, it, is Johnny Jerky Manziel. Yeah, he's oh, that's done. Did his mother say he's going to kill himself? Or? His father said if he doesn't get help, he'll be dead before he's 24. Which is fine. His girlfriend is now <laughs> pressing charges, aggravated Oh, assault. is she pressing him? Yeah. Because, yeah. The, because the, they said yesterday... That there were going to be they no were charges not. filed, and then she and came then it was forward closed. and filed. Oh, good! Yep. It's about time. His agent has dropped him. His agent dropped him. The Browns dropped him. He's done. This kid's a loser. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I hope, think he's a good time. I hope he gets help. I hope he fixes his life. I want to party with him. He'll never be an NFL quarterback. <laughs> no, I, I think he I will. I want to party. With I think he will. Him. You would. I think he's. he's I not. think he's my kind of guy. No, he's, well, Let's you, make it rain, Johnny. He would be fun to party with, but he's done in the NFL. No one's gonna. No one's gonna. No one's gonna touch him. They're not gonna touch him unless they want to. Sign up for you know a hundred thousand a year, and uh, we'll see how you do. I, saw, I, I don't even think he has the skill for the. NFL. He does not have the skill set. Even if he's healthy and clean, he just doesn't have. He it. doesn't have. He's it. not that. He guy. was good in college, and that was it. So Canada. Um, maybe. I think the Alouettes are uh, calling him yeah. right now. That maybe so. Canadian football, but I, I you know, he's gonna. I, and I don't even know why he's so messed up. I mean, he had he had this super charmed life. Go ahead. And and then got a lot of money. And got a lot of, well, still. but You just gave him the recipe. I know, but he's not the only guy that that's ever happened he's to. He's never been held accountable for anything. Well, most of these guys aren't, right. but, they, but they don't turn out like him. Well, some do. Look what happened to uh, Vince... The guy, kid from uh, Texas. Oh, Vince Young. Vince Young yeah. once won a, a, a national championship against USC. Right, and didn't happen. Well, it does. I mean, it happens. And then, uh, but who was the other kid that went to uh, Oakland that got signed? The quarterback. The quarterback. Uh, um, the surfer kid. Uh, oh, Marino uh, Not Marinovich. Marinovich was one. Yeah, he was. He was another one. But I know who you're thinking of. I can't think of his name right now. But look, it happens. But he's, you know, he. And, and the thing was, the Browns wanted him. 
to be the guy. You know, they wanted him to be that guy. They wanted him to be the franchise quarterback, and he just wouldn't stay out of trouble. Their scouts were wrong in drafting him. He wasn't the guy to go after, and look what came out right after him, right. all these other stuff. Right. Well, now, and even the, the Cowboys have said no, you know, because they were talking if Jerry about, says no, then you're done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How, how, <laughs> how pathetic are you when Jerry Jones turns you down? And you're from Texas. And you're from Texas. <laughs> really, that's, uh, I, you know, I, I'm kind of like Jonathan. I feel bad for the kid that he's turned out this way, but... I feel bad that he has these demons. I hope he cleans yeah, it it's up. Yeah, it's his own fault. But I, I want to hang out with him. For what? I want to go to Big Tanger to Big Dogs. Nah, you'd yeah. rather hang out with Gronk. Yeah, that'd be a good time, too. That's a good time. Yeah, Jim McMahon yeah, used to be, be crazy. a good time. Uh, you, did you see that 30 for 30 special the other night? McMahon? No, I didn't, oh, I didn't see it, but I had McMahon. friends that went to the uh, McMahon. reunion of the 85 Bears. man looks terrible. Poor guy. Well, you know, he was at Zany's a couple of years ago for the right. May. They did a mayor's roast for the mayor of Rosemont. Which is where the one Zany is. I'm sorry, I have to. You know Rosemont. Well, yeah. Right? Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it was. It, in fact, there's a comic friend of mine named Tim Walko, and Tim walked in the room and goes, Oh, there's a lot of bad people in here. <laughs> you better of, be lot funny. Of, lot of you bad people. You better be people. funny, kid. But he was there, and he was great. He was, this was two, two Jimmy and a half Mac. years ago, and he was great. He was nice but to everybody. You could see clearly, even in his early 50s, he's a shadow of his yeah. former self. Oh, well, yeah, all yeah. these guys. I are. know, it's all they're, they're all, they all got whacked in the head way too many times. Well, know. that's a whole other topic, you know, with, with concussion. I want to hear about some of these crazy props you took already. Well, I would love to share them with you. However, we're out of time. What? <laughs> no. Yeah, what? I, 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 give me, just give me again. one. Can just we, a reminder, really, Clint Holmes. Can we do this again next week and we, talk about your props? We could. We have Clint Holmes at the Smith Center for the Performance. Performing Arts tonight. I think it's at 8.30. Music Around the World. Clint Holmes. Uh, no, no Clint Holmes show tomorrow. Um, Triple B Backstage Bar and Billiards has got live music this weekend. I want to thank Rob. Rob Mish for coming on. Hey, seven, seven reasons to love sports. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Jeff Mullins. Las Vegas best, biggest Super Bowl party. There you go. Packing them in. Amanda Keller, brew mistress for Big yeah, Dogs. Chef Amanda, Chef thank you Sergio. so much. Thank you. I want to try the underbite. Everything was delicious. Rob Sherwood. Thank you, Jonathan. Come back when you've got something to say. I, uh, yeah. Like me on Twitter, Jonathan <laughs> Scott LV. Vegas nonstop. Eat well, party hard, and go Panther Broncos. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Have a great time. Have a great weekend. Be safe.